right, boys and girls, this is Emily here. Um, not at my house anymore. I'm here at the library. Um, we're all here um, working, but we don't have anybody coming into the library yet. So that hasn't started yet. And we will let you know when you can start um, coming back to the library. So we have story time today from the library, and um, we will be doing books about the alphabet. So Story Bear is here, right here, and he'll be listening with us to all the stories about the alphabet. So let's get started. Uh, let's pull up our listening ears and let's put on our listening dust. So let's make sure we get everybody with some listening dust. Very good, I think we got everyone. All right, so our first story today is called The Sleepy Little Alphabet, written by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Oh, and there's all our ABCs. The Sleepy Little Alphabet. It's sleepy time in elf Alphabet Town. As moms and dads run round and round, the little letters skitter scatter, helter skelter, what's the matter? This is a rhyming book. Uh-oh, A is wide awake and B still has a bath to take. With chubby C and a rub-a-dub D, make room for me, says Eensy E. F is full of fidgety wiggles and G has got the googly giggles. This is a silly book. H tries standing on her head, and I and J jump on the bed. K won't give a kiss good night. L cries, don't turn off the light. M is mopey. N is naughty. Oops, O and P upset the potty. Q is quiet as a bunny. R and S, S read something funny. They're laughing. T tucks in her teddy bear. And U takes off his underwear. Oh my, how crazy. V is very, very snoozy. And W is wobbly woozy. X expects a great big hug. And Y is a yawning cuddle bug. Who's that snoring? Z, Z, Z's. That's it. Let's see, I think we did up the whole alphabet. See you in the morning, ABCs. There they all are in the bed. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All sleeping in their beds. Sleepy little alphabet. That was fun. All right, well, let's do a finger play. So I'll do it first by myself, and then I hope you do it with me. So this one's called ABC. A is for the apples we love to eat. B is for the boots we wear on our feet. So we'll point to our feet. And C is for candy that tastes so sweet. Mmm, we'll go like that. We'll lick our lips. Okay, so let's try it together. A is for apples we love to eat. B is for the boots we wear on our feet. And C is for the candy that tastes so sweet. Mmm, that was fun. All right, let's try another story. This one's called Animal Antics A to Z by Anita Lobel. Antics are like 
kind of like tricks. Animal antics. So I'd like you to help me with all the different animals in this book. See if you know all the different ones. A is for adoring, and what are those? <gasps> right, alligators. And B is for bouncing bears. Right. C is for charming. Do you know that animal? Mm hmm. Camels. And D for dainty deer. Right. E is for elated. That means they're very happy. <gasps> kind of animal? Elephants, right. And fanciful, what are those? Foxes, right. G is for glamorous, that means fancy. What kind of animal? Giraffes. And H is for happy, right. Hippopotamuses. I, this is a hard one, impish. Abexis. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but those are special goats. We don't have any around here. And J is for jaunty. Do you know that one? That's a tough one too. Jackals. Those are like wild dogs. We don't have those here either. K is for kooky. Do you know that animal? Sure, koala bears, koalas. And L is for lovable. Lions, right, very good. M is for mellow monkeys, right? And N is for nice nyalas. That's a type of antelope. O is for obedient. And do we know that animal? <gasps> Ostriches. And P is for, we all know that one, playful pigs, right? Q is for quaint quetzals. That is a very tropical bird. We don't have those around here either. And R is for romping. Did you know that one? Rabbits, right. S is for silly. Seals. And T is for tender. Tigers, very good. Almost done. U is for unlikely. This is a magical animal. These don't really exist, do they? And they're called unicorns, right. And V is for vigorous. That's another tough one. It's a bird, vultures, vultures. W is for wily weasels. That's a tough one too. And this one, I never even heard of it. X is for exuberant exonopus. That's a type of frog. These are tough. And Y is for yoked. Do you know that animal? It's called a yak. Yoked yaks. And this one, I bet you know this one. Z is for zany. Right, zebras. Wow, we learned some new animals today. Very good. Animal antics. All right, well I thought we would say the ABCs together. I bet you know them. All right, let's, I'll sing them once by myself and then we'll sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, next time won't you sing with me? So I hope this time you will sing with me. All right, let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. All right. Well, let's do one of my favorite books. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. And this is one of my grandson's favorite stories too. So it's by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archibald, illustrated by Lewis, I'm sorry, Lois Ellert. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Maybe some of you know this book. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. 
A told B and B told C. I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D to E, F, G. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Will there be enough room? Look who's coming. L, M, N, O, P. And Q, R, S. T-U-V. Still more W and X-Y-Z. The whole alphabet up the oh no. <gasps> chicka chicka boom boom. <gasps> Skip, scat, scootle, doot, flip, flop, flee. Everybody's running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears and dust their pants. Help us up, cried ABC. Next from the pile up, skin knee D, and stub toe E, and patched up F, then comes G all out of breath. H is tangled up with I, and J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped, N is stooped, O is twisted, alley oop, skit scat, scootle doot, flip flop, flee. Look who's coming, it's black IP, QRS, and loose tooth T. Then UVW, wiggle jiggle free, last to come, XYZ, and the sun goes down on the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. <gasps> Look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dear double deer, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom. Mmm, that was fun. All right, well, let's see. I think it's time to play a game. And I bet you'll be able to do a great job on this game. It's called the alphabet game. So we have all the letters of the alphabet here and we need to put them in the right spot, in the right order. So what is the first letter we need to look for? Hmm, I think the first letter of the alphabet goes right here and it's letter A. Do you see it anywhere? Let's see, there it is. All right, let's get it right in the right spot. There we go. All right, now we need to find B. Do you see B anywhere? Do you see it? Oh, there it is, right here. All right, let's get that one in. So now we have A, B, what's next? A, B, C, right. Where is C? Oh, is that it? Nope, that's not it. Over here? <gasps> nope, there it is, right down here. All right, A, B, C. Push that right in there, good. Now, we need what letter? Hmm, D, right, A, B, C, D. Do you see it? No, that's not it. Over here, no, hmm, there it is. Great, we found it. All right, A, B, C, D, and now we need letter E. Where is E? it? No. Is it over here? No. Hmm. Where is letter E? There it is. Way over here. All right. A, B, C, D, E. Now we need F. Hmm. Do you see it? Keep looking. There it is. I found it. Great. Now A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Hmm. Is that it? No. Over here? No. Keep looking. <gasps> there it is. We found it. Great. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Where is H? Hmm. <gasps> there it is, right over here. Great. 
All right, next is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I don't know if that looks like I, but that's an L. Hmm, do you see it? Yes, right here, right. Now we need the letter J. Where is H, I, J? Oh, there it is. Good. We're doing a great job. H I J. What comes after J? Is it K? Yes. Do you see it? There it is, right down here. All right. H I J K L. Hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. Right there. L. And what comes after L? Right, you're right, M. Do you see M? Here's N, where is M? There's not too many left to look for. <gasps> there it is, right up here. Great, here's M. Wow, we're getting almost close to the end. M, N. <gasps> N, right here next to me. Okay, L, M, N, O, O, where is O? I see Q, U, there's O right up there by itself. Oh, L, M, N, O, what's next? Right, P, do you see P anywhere? There it is. Okay, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Hmm, Q, there's U, oh, right up here. Okay, there's Q. And now we need what letter? What comes after Q? O, P, Q, R, right, R. Oh, here it is. Yep, found it. All right, P, Q, R, S. Not too many letters left. Oh, there it is, right next to it. S. Now we need T. T. Do you see T anywhere? Mm-hmm. Right here. Yep, you're right. R S T. Not many left. <gasps> yep. And here's U. Let's get U in there. Come into the end. What comes after U. R S T U. Right. V. Do you see V? It's not on here. <gasps> there it is. Okay, and what's after V? W, right, R-S-T-U-V-W. Only a couple left. X, that's right, X goes right here. Mm-hmm, next is X, Y, right. And the last one, right there, X, Y, Z. Great, we got all of them in. You did a great job on that game. Excellent work. All right, well, after our game, we always do a craft. So our craft today is a beer, a letter beer for the letter B, like story beer. So the pieces that you'll need to make your, your letter beer are a piece of paper, could be any color and then you're gonna cut out a big B so let me show you so you'll have your piece of paper just like that and we'll put it right here well let's see if it'll fit there well, well it doesn't look like it wants to stay up there but you need a piece of paper so we'll do that and then like I said you need to cut out a big B you can make it brown like a beer so you'll have a a B, a big letter B. And then what else do we need for the beer? Well, he needs his ears. So you need to make two circles, color them in to make them look like an ear, okay? And then you'll need another circle for his face, make a little nose and a mouth. And what about his eyes? Yes, you need two eyes, just like that. And now his paws, two more circles, make a couple of little lines to make like his his, his nails, 
Ears have nails, claws, that's right. And then you need his feet, two feet. Looks, looks like his paws. And those, so you need two, four, six circles for all his pieces, another circle for his mouth and some eyes, and you can make your own beer. And before we go, I want to tell you about something new that we're going to be starting next week. So you're going to be able to get a craft bag to take and do along with me. So starting today, Tuesday, June 30th through Monday, July 6th, you can use our curbside pickup to get a craft bag. So that bag will have all the supplies like this inside to make next week's craft along with me. You still need to have a glue stick or maybe some crayons, but everything else that you need to make a craft with me will be in this bag. So what you can do is come to the library between 10 and 2 and call us up at 697-3331 and let us know that you're in the parking lot and let us know how many craft bags you need and we'll bring them out to your car. So I'll let you know next week we're going to be doing stories about birthdays. So you are going to get in your craft bag all the supplies to make your own birthday cake. So I made one for my grandson Oliver. So you'll get all these pieces in your craft bag so you can make a craft with me next week. All right, so very good. I will do our poem together and then that will be it for today. So story time can help us read. Story time is what we need. Story time is lots of fun. Story time's for everyone. So don't forget about our craft bags starting this week and we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.